Hey folks, Pastor Rocky Branch, a little educational video for you today. Something important. These are straight razors. I have them in my office in this box, of course. They were used a long time ago. There's five of them in here. Let me get them where you can see them there. Five of them there. A little bit hard to see. But they uh, were used a long time ago in uh, barbershops to shave folks. This is called a razor strap. They would use this, they would put this on the chair, and they would sharpen the blades, uh, the razor blades, uh, or the, uh, the razor, rather. They would sharpen these with something like this on the barber's chair. My grandmother had one of these. Her name was Lessie. She had one of these that she sharpened me with, and about every child that came through the house, all my cousins, certainly her children, seven of them, uh, and anybody she could get a hold of if they got out of line. That razor strap was something very amazing in uh, my life. It looked like it was 10 foot long, and although it's only about, oh, I don't know, probably uh, two foot or so, but it, uh, uh, my, my uh, family members that are, that are on this, uh, that watch this, they'll, they'll appreciate this very, very much because they remember it uh, very, very well. You know, discipline is a very important thing, and it's hard for all of us to deal with because nobody likes discipline. And as a result of that, God wants us to understand that according to Romans, that he draws us with love. Now, I understand that when people do wrong, they should be corrected. All of us, you know, we are in that situation. But at the same time, the Bible says the goodness of God leads people to repentance. The goodness of God. Now, think about that the better that you can love someone. Now, love doesn't always mean giving someone their way. Love doesn't always mean uh, letting somebody buy. My grandmother, I'm telling you, when she had something just like this, a razor strap hanging on the wall, just like this, I'm telling you, I didn't think she loved me at all. She'd whop me with that a few times, and uh, all the other kids too, for that matter. Uh, but as a result of that, she actually loved me very much. And you and I need to recognize that God loves us and he wants to help us. And sometimes there's pain involved through decisions we make. I remember one time we were uh, having to string green beans. I don't know if you ever had to do that or not, but had to string green beans. And I was so tired of stringing those beans, I couldn't stand it. So I went and hid in the house. In fact, I told my grandmother, I'm not stringing any more beans. My grandmother said, oh, yes, you are. And my grandma, Lessie, drug me out, that's an old mountain word, drug me out from under the bed and whipped me good with that razor strap. And I ran out of the house and down the street and she came after me. You know, it's sometimes hard for us to accept discipline and to accept things that uh, we don't particularly like. But I want to tell you, God loves you enough to do the best for you. Sometimes it's painful, I agree. But the Bible says it's the heart of the matter that makes the difference. Why do you do what you do? Well, of course, in the scripture, the Bible says that it's the goodness of God that leads people to repentance, which means that sometimes you and I both, certainly me, and no doubt you, at times should have been destroyed. But by God's goodness, you're still here. And that ought to make us think and turn our thoughts toward God. Because we really shouldn't be here in most cases. Yet God's had mercy upon us. And should not we have mercy on others? That doesn't mean we exempt people that have done terribly wrong because people have to be accountable for what they do. But it does mean that we must act with mercy. Mercy is much better than sacrifice. Sometimes it's hard to do, but I want to tell you, it's essential if you're going to follow Jesus Christ. The goodness of God leads people to repentance. I didn't think my grandmother was too good or loved me too much when she walloped me with that razor strap. But I want to tell you something. She loved me very much. And God loves you very much, and he wants to help you. Know this for sure. The love of God draws us, cares for us, and watches over us. You be sure today that God loves you, and we love you too. You have a great and godly day. God bless you. We love you, and goodbye.